prioritize blank. Everything's simple. Everyone's similar. Damage continues. Unnecessary action. Doesn't connect. Future plans. Shock system. Express individual thought. Narrative fantasy. Confident exhale. Play now. Good question. Deliberate decision. Smart outsider. Like fuck, there's that quote, learn from your mistakes. Fuck no, I'm learning from other people's mistakes, you know? Like, I don't wanna make fucking mistakes, but you gotta. Nothing comes overnight and you need to like like, you need to put in the fucking time and effort to do something, to get good at something. If you want to do something, like, you've got to do it. And, like, these weird collages that I made one time. So, like, Doug Wrong 667 is the same letters as Doug Bennett. And then people always get my name wrong, so it's Dog. Like, most times I go to order food. They're always like, dog. <laughs> and like, yeah, so dog, wrong, 667, one better than the devil. Pretty much. My friend Barrow, I took that photo of him. He used his album cover. Still never got a copy of the CD, like. But if you put your soul and passion in something, then it has an emotion, so it's like almost alive. Like, it's like a fucking entity. A fucking little piece of car where you can't fucking touch it too early or die. And let it flourish and then one day, oh you wanna to touch it? And then it killed it, the moment in history. But with artwork you managed to capture it. So you caught that beautiful moment at its peak, you made something of it, but you killed it by like making it this is when this is released, this is when this is made, it's momentary to that time frame now. The coral thing, it's so weird. It's fucking scary, man. There's no coral left. Even 10 years ago, there wasn't even coral. It's fucked. I collect pins. So you make pins. Send me some pins. Let's see. It's gold scissors. These are probably one of my favorite items. Going for three to four dollars. I can't say three. I really like a weird list, but I'm gonna some shit. Stress ball, fuck the world. Fuck it. Something is worth documenting, so why not, you know? Like, what else do people do with their time? I didn't spend all my time doing it, but like, you gotta do it. Like, you shouldn't always rely on YouTube, you should go do it instead. Getting the good thing to learn from because you fall over and you actually get hurt. <laughs> it's not just like, oh, I'm taking this judgment too seriously or like try too hard and like overthinking it. It's like, no, nah, you actually just fell over and now you're bleeding and now shut the fuck up and keep going. And they said they'll get back and they sent it on to someone else, but they didn't get back. Bummer. That's like a lot of things in the art world or the real life world is that people are liars and that's probably something the world needs a bit less of maybe I reckon to be honest but yeah it's pretty dusty it's a good camera you're gonna get the HD dust <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that lie and take advantage, so I just like chose to be more like private and not say the way I feel all the time and like do what I want to do around certain people because like they just bug, bug me out. <laughs> you know when you meet up with people for like a beer or like in general like what you been up to and you're like, like I'm always just like oh just chill and they're like oh yeah. But like, if you were really to be like, what have you been up to? You'd be like, oh fuck, I like, did this, doing this, like, going to do that. Oh, I just did this the other day. Oh, I went to this place the other day. Like, and then it's just like too much information and you feel like a dickhead. So it's always better. I like to just keep it simple, you know, it's better. Like, expressing myself in a written form. 
for no real reason, just because it's like, I feel like one day it would be cool to look back on, you know? So I just like, funny situations almost that all get written down. Some of them are pretty whack, to be honest. And I look at some of them sometimes, it's pretty weird. I look at, I never look at what I do as work, or else I wouldn't do it, because that's like, the kind of, the like, gateway everyone wants is like, to do something that's not considered work. And like, I feel like I've got that, but I do work an old job, because like, there's so much fucking time in the world. I like, take my camera everywhere I go every day and take random photos and just try not to overcomplicate an overcomplicated world. And I may as well like save it up and use it in like future time so it's like more worthy. Like when you see an image now, or saying now you're like, oh that's that's alright. But when you see an image of like 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, it's before now, you're like that's so much cooler because of it's like it's a photo that's it's done its justice, it's captured the moment and like in a year's time you look back at it and it has more meaning to it in the mo than the moment, you know, like roll the dice. What are the shots today? Kind of. <laughs> Snake eye. It's a mini Melbourne. <laughs> How sick. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I was gonna pick up that one too. That was sick. That's like the dice. <laughs> the dragon I got there. A little blue mushroom. Getting shot in the face by a police officer. And then, oh, there's Tig watching over this dragon getting shot by the police officer behind a blue mushroom. But this hat made for pretty poison. It's pretty good. It's good embroidery. Yaz's mom actually owns pretty poison, which is pretty sick. It's a really good place. I don't know, like, fashion is a really interesting thing, it's everywhere. And like, I'm really intrigued by it and I always have been and everybody has to wear clothes so do something different, something that isn't, hasn't been done, hopefully. I never like really liked reading and like I'm never really a fan of school so I don't know, I just wasn't into what was out there and I'm just like on my own terms like the knowledge of self like went out and like went to some places, seen some things I like and chose what I liked and educated myself. I didn't like doing all that shit and I didn't like being in school and being in like some kind of institute for like learning because like I think the best way to learn is to just fucking pick up a book and learn it at your own pace and like or just fucking walk outside see what the fuck's around you and take it in. Duality has always like, I've always looked at it as like kind of an illusion because like, I never like questioned if I was an individual or not. I just knew I wasn't the same as those other people and like them, like, so I just did what I liked and what I thought was cool and just stayed true. Dick in a gallery here, just like that. You should just fucking make like some shit that's like unbuyable. Like make like an actual gallery, just like experience, you know what I mean? Take a look around you and you're just like not happy with like everything you see and it's sometimes you should always look at yourself first, but sometimes it isn't. You know, it's just like the way it is, and like if you want to do something different, kind of you gotta you gotta be the one to go make it different. Sometimes use your time wisely. Like the knowledge comes first, and then your wisdom, and then you need to have understanding to make that 
overflow and so all the links can be one like the chain is connected it's like you never are going to have enough knowledge you can look at small things individually as knowledge is everywhere it's just you've got to be the one to like take it in and sit and like invest your time like school wasn't a knowledge for me like the knowledge of self is the knowledge of wealth you know not in like the sense of money in the sense of value and like overcoming whatever life throws at you in a way where you can just always learn and like about everything not just like mistakes and sad shit like good shit too like just always learn I like got the knowledge of looked around saw something took it in understood it and then used it to my understanding of the knowledge and wisdom of my own life you know so like they all go hand in hand but there's like 12 steps it's crazy Taoism